All right, so just for testing purposes, I've got the air conditioner set up in here, just on the counter with the uh, window open, blowing all the hot air out the back, the exhaust, and just the intake is using the ambient air from inside the camper. I am running off of the inverter, and uh, I've got the air conditioner set on low and cool eco mode it's using about 150 watts and I do have the solar panels on and I'll show you here I did a screenshot of my Victron smart shunt um, just showing what all the voltages are what I'm bringing in and what's going out uh, through the inverter powering this air conditioner so the Preliminary tests show that I could run this air conditioner with the solar panels turned on and feeding the batteries uh, for anywhere between about 17 and 24 hours. Obviously, I'll be running the air conditioner mostly when the sun's out during the day, so the solar panels will be generating basically more than what the air conditioner is using. So that's kind of a nice thing to uh, find here in this testing and uh, I'm just going to keep testing here and come up with some other results uh, with different loads. I'll try um, on the uh, medium fan setting, high fan setting, um, in auto cool, high cool, and on the dry mode. And the dry mode on this air conditioner is what pulls moisture out of the air and uh, so that's the idea that I had where you know I could uh, harvest a little bit of water that way obviously running it through my catered in water filtration system and uh, then either using it for you know washing up or flushing the toilet or whatever but anyway we'll keep testing here and uh, yeah get back to you with some results so I've got the air conditioner temperature set at 68 degrees I don't know if you can see that with the flickering of the frame rate but um, over here on the remote control where it shows our temperature, um, shows we're at uh, 67 degrees. I am, this is positioned where I would be sitting normally on the sofa and the vents from the air conditioner are, you know, this this distance from the, from the remote to there is about oh, five or six feet. So it's, um, you know, it's staying nice and cool. The ambient temperature, is uh, 86 degrees that's the outside temperature and that's just on low cool so um, running it on medium or high obviously probably end up freezing me out I, I don't need it that cool in here if I can keep it at you know even 74 degrees I think I'd be pretty comfortable just as long as there's some airflow all right, so I got my thermal imaging camera here. That right there is my 40 amp breaker coming in from the solar panels. So that's what those cables are there. Going out to my charge controller. And the uh, temperature of that is uh, about, looks like the hottest point is about 85, 87 degrees. Uh, cables about 93 degrees so that's all within normal range cables going into the charge controller those are all within normal range okay and you can see we are charging All right, and then this is the battery side here. We've got the uh, the little resettable breaker there, which is a 30 amp breaker uh, coming from the charge controller into the positive bus bar. That temperature, yeah, 120 degrees, 130 degrees. Um, these are all the switch there. That's all good. 
the uh, bus bars are good. So that fuse right there, that resettable fuse is, is running about 138 degrees, 140 degrees. Over here we have the inverter and the uh, AC power going out, DC power coming in from the batteries here. And that's all nice and cool. The battery terminals are all nice and cool. And the AC lines, I don't know if you can see any of that, but those are all reading normal, 75 degrees, 80 degrees. And then my shunt, that's reading normal. That's the Victron Smart shunt right there. So my, my looks like my weak point is that 30 amp breaker right there. So I'll have to look into maybe swapping that out. Or uh, maybe running some larger uh, solar cables from the charge controller to this breaker. Yeah, because the cables themselves aren't hot. They're slightly warm, but definitely not hot. I would say they're just a little bit above ambient temperature. But the metal, I can feel that that's hot. Yeah, the metal on that's pretty hot. So I'll be swapping that out, I think, or, or putting some larger cables in. Now I just have the window open and this is all the hot air blowing out. See if we can get a shot of that. <clears throat> yeah, so that's all hot air there. 116 degrees, 112 degrees blowing out. Let's go look inside. All right, so it's nice and cool in here. Again, it's set at 68 degrees. Ambient temperature over here is 71. And the outside temperature is 86. Of course, we're blowing nice and cool. So, take a look at the batteries. This has been running for about 40 minutes. Okay, so obviously the state of charge is, is reflecting um, the, the state of charge while it's being depleted uh, running the air conditioner through the inverter. So my, my state of charge is going to go up. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the air conditioner and then uh, I'll do a screen, uh, screen recording of my uh, software for the smart shunt to see how quickly that battery bank recovers uh, after I turn off the air conditioner power. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick uh, amperage reading. Got the positive cable there that goes to the fuse and then out to the inverter. I'll turn on the inverter and start the air conditioner and we'll come back out and see what this is. All right, inverter's on. I'll go ahead and turn on the air conditioner. Get it on, turn it on cool. Wait for the compressor to kick in and then we'll go out and take a reading on the meter. There's ambient uh, inside the camper temperature. 
Okay, compressor just kicked on. I've got it on low fan, on cool, and eco. Let's go check this out. So 34.5 DC amps. All right, so on low, the air conditioner is pulling about, um, it's pulling about 413 watts out of the batteries. That's with, you know, that's going through the inverter. So that's figuring in the, the, uh, the loss uh, in the conversion or the inversion. Um, uh, when I was doing my testing inside the house using the AC circuit, um, uh, the 120 volt circuit was uh, about, I think it was about 350 to 360 watts. I think at the highest it got was about 378 watts. So, you know, there's obviously some loss there. Um, and uh, I'm okay with that. I'll, I'll probably never run this air conditioner uh, on medium or high. I'll probably just always run it on the low setting. And that, uh, that 413 watts that it's actually throwing out of the battery to the inverter, um, that's not taken into consideration that I am generating solar power. So uh, I typically generate, like right now, I'm generating about 300 to 325 watts. Um, at uh, about 23 amps so you know there's not a whole lot of difference there uh, between the two really it's just all what I'm worried about most is the cabling and making sure that I can keep the temperatures down on the cabling and the fuses and stuff like that so um, you know when the sun's out and I'm running the air conditioner there's there's plenty of power I'm not worried about depleting the batteries too much um, and they recover really quick when I do turn off the uh, the, air com the uh, compressor on the air conditioner or turn it off altogether. So um, anyway, that's, uh, you know, generating a, a couple hundred to 300, you know, 325 watts even at, uh, at peak daylight. Um, you know, right now it's uh, well, about two o'clock in the afternoon. So we're still at pretty much peak. And um, yeah. I think we'll be okay running that. It's just about keeping the heat down on the cables, just so we don't have any issues. I don't want to start any fires. The uh, batteries are re recovering really quickly. It's already at 97%. So, you know, it, I turned off the, uh, the unit about, I don't know, 15 minutes ago, and it's already recovering. So, yeah, I'm not worried about... Uh, not worried about battery capacity. I seem to be pretty good there at 200 amp hours. I'm going to do some more testing on that, uh, that breaker that I've got going in from my solar controller, uh, to that 30 amp breaker. I might, uh, change the wire out going from the solar charge controller to the breaker and then out to the, uh, um, bus bar the positive bus bar. I'll go, you know, maybe one or two sizes up. Uh, from the uh, standard um, solar cable and uh, see how that helps control the temperatures or bring down those temperatures a little bit. I don't like that. I don't like that breaker getting up there. You know, it was like 138, 140 degrees. I don't like that. So I'll uh, try to get that resolved before I use this system uh, extensively. So anyway, more testing to come. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and catch you on the next one. Later.